Mossy Quinn, Dublin are Leinster champions for the 12th time in a row would finish 5.17 to 1.15 in the end against Kildare. What did you make of the game? Yeah, uh, Dublin were excellent. First 20 minutes, first 25 minutes in particular. They were um, very impressive. They continued their good form from the Mead, the first half in the Mead game. Uh, very slick going forward, moving them much more directly than we've seen them over the last 18 months or so. And uh, yeah, ruthless in front of goals and really, really well taken goals today. They'd be delighted with that. Five goals in the first half. Have you seen that before? Um, probably not in the first half. No, it was. Um, yeah, they were very impressive. And again, it was just the option taken. A couple of the goals. Uh, Con O'Callaghan laid one on for Karen uh, Kilkenny earlier on. Cormac laid one on for Con, and you could just see when there was someone in a better position, runners coming off the shoulder. Just the options they had, and uh, finishing was excellent. John Small with a brilliant finish, cup from half back. Cormac Oslo as well with a lovely jink inside and finished the net with his left foot. And yeah, they'd be delighted with their with their finishing in front of goal. And not to take from the goals, because as you said, they were really well taken, but they were given so much space in order to get these goals. They were, yeah, and they, they, they created a little bit of themselves as well. In fairness, they, they played their full forward line, stayed in quite deep, so they were winning the ball a lot closer to the goal than we've probably seen them do in the last couple of months. So that's obviously a tactic from Dublin, trying to get the ball inside to the danger men. And like that, they did have runners at times. Cairn Kilkenny timed his run brilliantly in the first few minutes off Khan, and he slipped it to him. And, um, so they did create good chances, but yeah, Kildare were probably a little bit naive in how they set up and leaving that space, leaving that man on man. You saw towards the end of the first half, they tried to drop one of their halfbacks back to kind of sit in front of them and even then they struggled to kind of slow them down and it was, um, yeah, that'll be something Kildare will have a look at going into the next game, you would have thought. And from the first half, the game was really over, you know, uh, coming into this second half. But I think Kildare, they just, they never took their chances. Even when they had them, they were wide, they were dropping short, they weren't the right option. Just something wasn't clicking for them. No, they'd be very disappointed and as good as Dublin were, Kildare, particularly in the first 20-25 minutes when you were looking for them to come in and uh, to try and make an impact, they'd be disappointed. They got off to a good start, Paul Cribben got a great score, um, Ben McCormick was moving well, he was causing John Small a couple of problems, but inside they never really got their inside guys into the game and there was, like you said, there were some poor options, poor shots, Daniel Flynn never really got in it, uh, Jimmy Hyland as well, so they'd be disappointed from that side up front that they never really uh, never really clicked, never really got to move the ball around. They did, they did work a good goal in the second half now Dublin taking the, the foot off the pedal at that stage but yeah certainly early on they never made any inroads and Dublin defence will be very happy with their performance and not that Crow Park is going to have much of, of a difference in the scoreline today but you know people often ask about the Crow Park factor and for me definitely in the first 10-15 minutes as we talked about the bad options a shot taken I felt like they were just uneasy a little bit you know they, they just weren't themselves called there yeah, possibly, and that's obviously something they'll have to reflect on and see what that was. And um, don't, like Dublin deserve credit defensively for what they were doing; they're making it tough for them. But um, yeah, that's that's what when they review the game, they'll have to look. And um, like ultimately, I think Dublin were just up a couple of levels from them today. I think performance-wise, you could see all over the pitch, and um, from the very start, Dublin were tuned in and going forward, they were just ruthless and, and left no doubt today. And what's the biggest differences that you've seen from Dublin, say, from the league to now in Championship? Um, a couple of key differences in personnel obviously stands out the return of Conor Callaghan um, I think a couple of younger players have made a good impact Lee Gannon continued his good form this season he had an excellent game today Larkin O'Dell there's a couple of guys there that have pushing on now and um, I, I think just their forward play in particular you know I think last year and um, possibly in the league they were a little bit more uh, laboured in their build up they were going side to side a little bit more whereas you can see the directness is back you can see the, the attacking from the defence and like that Lee Gannon got forward today he was wearing number four play Corner back and kick two points, two excellent scores. John Small with the goal from wing back, and that's I think when you, when you look at when you consider Dublin playing good attacking football, it is there's runners coming from deep and uh, they've different options, and I think we saw that today, and that was probably wasn't there as much certainly in the league earlier on in the year. And you mentioned Conor Callan, he's been a big impact since he's back in for Championship one five today. Uh, we were talking about the way he holds off players, his strength is just so impressive. It is, yeah. Everything about his game, to be honest, and he, he looks fresh and. Uh, they're getting good ball into him and again his option taking was always excellent like I said he laid on a goal early on when he probably could have taken his own score and he can score every type of score like he can put a ball into him he's winning high ball he's winning ball out in front he's laying it off and his kicking was good today and he, he's, he's just very hard to tie down especially one on one which is what the Kildare full back line are often left with today and um, he's been a massive addition for Dublin a lot of questions are going to be asked after this game, you know, where are Dublin really at? You know, we thought we were going to see them get tested here by Kildare. That's not been what's happened, but where are they at? Are they back to their best? Are Dublin back? All these talks during last week after, or two weeks ago after the Mead game? 
Yeah, well, they're, they're certainly where they'd want to be anyway, performance-wise, you would have thought, you know, like, they've, that's the first bit of consistency they've shown all year. Obviously, during the league, they had a poor start, had a couple of wins, and then finished disappointingly up in Monaghan, so they'll be pleased that they've put back-to-back performances together so far in the Leinster campaign, you know, and I think that's that's the key thing for them, and um, like that, the scores they're putting up, the fluidity they're playing with going forward, I think the big thing is coming down the line is to see do they have that strength and depth, do they have that 20 guys that are going to able to come in and make a difference on a game day, and we've seen 1-15 to 15, there's no doubt they're, they're a match for anyone in the country and I think a lot of what the success was built on over the years was having that strength and depth and having the subs to come in and um, that wasn't tested today, it wasn't tested against me so I think ultimately what will determine Dublin season is, is what happens when, when they are pushed and when they do need guys coming in off the line and can they make an impact.